In this video, we'll be covering the basics on how to set up KeePass X for the first time, and also explaining a little bit of why we want to use it. Why should we use it? It's easy, and it's a secure way to keep your passwords. It's as easy as copying and pasting your username and password every time. It may seem daunting at first, or a little bit of a hassle, but once you try it out and start to use it, you'll see that it's really actually pretty easy. Also, it allows you to have different passwords for every account. This way, if an attacker were to get the password to one of your accounts, they would likely not be able to access any of your other accounts because they'd only have that one password and username. Also, it makes it easy by generating strong passwords for you so you don't have to make up all these different passwords. With strong passwords, they would be hard to remember. With KeePassX, you only need to remember one password and that's the password to unlock your database. We'll, we'll talk about that a little more shortly. Another plus about this is that it can be used on any operating system. Windows, Mac, iOS, or mobile Apple devices. Also Android and Linux. So pretty much any device you have, any computer you have, you can run this on. Okay, now let's do a quick, easy setup. First, go to KeePassX.org and download KeePassX. I've done this already, and I just need to extract the file. Now, Mac users may need to install this the usual way that you install applications. On Windows, we can just open it up right now. Okay. So this is the first time we've opened it. We need to set things up. And this should only take a, a couple minutes. First, we need to create a new database. To do that, go up to the top left menu, click Database, and then click on New Database. It will now ask you for a password. This password will be used to unlock this database. It should be a strong password, and more specifically, a passphrase. A passphrase has multiple words in it, so that it makes it harder for someone to break into or guess your password. There's other ways that passwords are guessed, which is why you want a stronger password, but we're not going to discuss that in this video. A tip to make this a little easier when creating your password is click this icon that looks like an I and that will let you see the letters you're typing. So I'm going to use a simple passphrase right now. Like I said, this is a simple passphrase. You'd want to use random words or a phrase that you would remember. And the addition of special characters like the pound sign, the dollar symbol, or the percent sign, those would be good to add in also. Just be sure it's something you're going to remember. Once you've entered that, click OK, and you've created a new database. Now we'll want to add an account. Let's say we're creating an account for the first time. We're going to use this website for an example. All right, so we're going to create a new user, a new account on this website. To do this, we will enter our display name. That'll be our username, email address, 
password, location, etc. But first we're going to want to start this in KeePassX. To create a new account in KeePassX, just click this key icon that has a green arrow on it. You're presented with some text fields. First is the title. This is the name that you will use to remember what account this is. And since it's for a wild mushroom hunting forum, we're going to give it that title. And for the username, we're going to use user with strong pass. For the password, this is where it gets a little different. We want it to generate or create a password for us. So click this button that says gen, it's short for generate. And first off, we see that the password is already created. And again, we can click this icon that looks like an I and it shows it to us in plain text. So we see it here, the length. Right now it's 32 characters long. That's good. And also the character types it's using. Capital letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. Now if we were to uncheck special characters, notice the password it changes and there's no more special characters in there but usually we want special characters so I'll keep that button pressed if you're okay with the password you can go over and click accept and it auto fills the password fields for us now we want to enter the URL in this case it's wildmushroomhunting.org And this URL will act as a bookmark for us. We'll see how that works later. This notes field is specifically for you if you want to make notes about this account. And it's totally optional. We have everything we need entered now. Just click OK. And we see that we have a new entry for this account. This doesn't mean that we've created the account on the website. It just means we've stored this information in KeePassX. So first we want to save it. So hover over this floppy disk, click it, and it'll ask you where you want to save this file, this database. Be sure to save it somewhere you'll remember. Now that it's saved, let's add this information into the website and actually create our account. To do this, just right click on the account we just made in KeePassX, hover over copy username and click it. Go over to the browser and paste it into the display name field. Next, we it's asking for our password. Again, go to KeePassX, right click on it, and choose copy password. Then paste it into the password field. Sometimes you'll notice that if you try and paste it again, it, it won't paste. That's because after a certain period of time, it deletes what you've copied so that you can't paste it anymore. That's just a security measure. So if that happens, you'll just need to do this again. Copy your password and then paste it into that field. Now just complete the rest of the form. Now let's say that we want to log into this account at a later time. Since we entered the URL, we can use that as a bookmark. Just right click on the account and then go to open URL. This will automatically open up that website in the browser and then we can go to sign in. To do that, we can just right click on that account, choose copy username, and then paste that into the username or display name field. Next, go over to the KeePassX window again, right click on the account, and choose copy password. 
and then paste that into the browser. Then we can click sign in and we're set. Now that you know how to use KeepAssex, it would be a good idea to change the passwords to your existing accounts. To do that, you will need to enter your information into KeepAssex like we just did. Then log in to those accounts and change your passwords. Just be sure you're using KeepAssex to generate those passwords. One other thing that I'll show you is how to open up the KeePassX database once you've closed it. So I'll go open KeePassX where I originally saved it. And you'll notice that it's already trying to open the da last database we used. So all we need to do is enter our password or passphrase. Type it in and hit enter, and then you have access to all of your usernames and passwords in the database.